Below is a list of records in a Spring Boot MVC and Timeleaf web application. In an application, users will need a search function that would help to easily find records in the application. And this would usually include using a specific uh, search word, keyword. To add this function, we will go to the repository in the IDE we are using and define a search method. And this search method would be of type product list. And the search method will also require a parameter, a string parameter, which would have called keyword in this case. In order for this search method to work, we need to um, we need to define an SQL um, syntax. The type of SQL syntax we would use in this case is called JPQL, Java Persistent Query Language. This is specifically used within the repository to define a search query. And you do this by including a, a query annotation on top of the search method that I've defined here. And the attribute in the annotation, the query annotation, will be as shown here, will be as shown here, will be as shown. So this is the search attribute, the search syntax for the JP QL query. The JPQL is a type of query language that allows us to use the uh, the entity object model to define our search query as opposed to using um, tables in standard SQL queries. The repository is responsible for the persistence of the object model and so therefore is the best place to define this search query. In the service layer, we're going to define a method that will return the list of all records in the database. Now we define a list called find all products. This list, this list will contain the products and the the type of this method is product list now this list of products would need to be queried and for this reason we have included a string keyword so that it can be queried when it is implement when this method is implemented in the uh, service implementation layer. To implement the find all product method we talked about earlier, we, we first of all include uh, the, the if statement this is a test statement that looks for the keyword and it returns the search method 
which was in the repository. So we create um, a variable of the product repository and call it on the search method in the repository. So the if statement is a test statement that will look for a keyword. And if a keyword does not exist, then it will return the list of products. And we've used the find all method here, which is really a default JPA method that we have access to by virtue of having extended the JPA. In the controller, we're going to implement the keyword as a parameter. So here, the get products method displays all the products in the database. So we're going to include the keyword as a string and to identify this keyword as a required input for the for the search we're going to use the param annotation and configure it with keyword with attribute keyword and also the keyword needs to be added as an attribute to the model and bound to the template page on which the search will be conducted. When the application is started as shown here, the records will be displayed. And when you do a search, for example, um, do a search and click on the search button, you will find um, a record with B OO will be filtered and shown and when you do a search for for say for instance the car the record name car will be shown thanks for listening to this presentation please Subscribe to our channel.